Why do we live vicariously through negativity? We watch negative things. We participate in negative things. There's always negative things all around and we thrive on it. We glory in it. Instead of living in positive ways through positive things and engaging people in love. There's so many commercials for shows about people lying to each other or hurting each other, stealing from each other, pretty little liars. Sons of Anarchy, lie to me. Somebody got hurt today. Somebody got killed today. What can we do to save the day? And you, we sit and watch that. And we do nothing. We end up on our ass. We don't save the day. Somebody saves it for us. And we say, yay! And we go back to being nonchalant, being victims of circumstance, unheroic, not embodying all that is, the good that is. We forget about those things. Let's do our best to stop living vicariously. That's what I want to do for myself, for my family. Vicarious living isn't living. It is sitting. It's waiting. It's letting negativity wash over you. It's being programmed with spells these spells that media conglomerates are casting at you. This negative, that negative, this torment, this torture, this new hate, this violent pornography. Let's stop living vicariously through negativity or even living vicariously through positivity. Let's live. Let's live in ways that serve I and I. Let's live in ways that serve I-manity. Not ways that exalt Satan. It's not the way. Can't be the way. We know better. You know better. You can't pretend you don't. I can't pretend I don't. Everybody knows you know right from wrong. You know life. You don't have to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil to know what life is. You were born with that. That was in there. That at some time or place was something that you turned away from. Whether you were taught to turn away from it, whether you were influenced by your parents to turn away from it, by society to turn away from it, by your lover to turn away from it, you made that choice. We all made that choice. If we're here and being downpressed in Babylon, we made that choice. We can unmake it through help. Because we all need help, whether it be from each other, whether it be from the Almighty. He will help, but we need to seek that help for ourselves. We need to ask for help, even in our own hearts. 
No more vicarious living. Love. I'm out.